Hi there, so this is a video showing you how to use the tool Bright Verify to check your ConvertKit emails and <clears throat> your subscribers on your ConvertKit list and check that you don't have loads of spammy junk known dud email addresses because you're paying for those even though they're not really email addresses, people aren't going to get them, people aren't going to receive the emails but you're paying for them to be on your list. So somewhere near this video is my affiliate link for Bright Verify. I'd very much appreciate if you use it, but it's fine if you don't as well. So I've already got a Bright Verify account, so I'm going to log in, but usually you just come here to sign up and it's a very straightforward process. So I'm going to log in. Okay. So what you want to do is come to ConvertKit, come to Subscribers, select all and then you want to select all if you've got more than 30 on the first page bulk actions export and then it'll take a little while but you will eventually get an email so here is the email it can take five to ten minutes sometimes um, and you just click to download it and it will automatically download so i'm just going to leave that there for now okay so now that i've downloaded the list from convertkit i'm going to come up here to verify list I'm going to select my computer, I'm going to select the file I just downloaded, it's going to upload it and it's going to get it ready, this only takes a few moments, it depends on the list size really. And what it's going to do when it's finished this is it's going to give you the cost for um, how much it's going to be to check it. Now if you are kind of on the borderline of a like a payment bracket in ConvertKit then it's well worth doing this because you're going to save yourself a lot of money because you're probably going to have it's probably going to bring you back down below the threshold if you're near the borderline. I'm actually really interested to see out of my 3,500 subscribers how many of them are old or dead or spammy. So if you're happy with the price you export the file you want to export to um, file so we want a CSV back again so we can put that back into ConvertKit once we've checked it. So I'm going to click verify list and it's now going to do that so I'm going to pause whilst it's doing that. Okay, so here we go it's now finished so I'm going to click view. Okay so here we've got the more detailed report about what's going on. So the valid ones are valid, bright verify thinks these are perfectly regular email addresses they're not there's no known problems with these email addresses then you've got invalid emails and it'll give you the breakdown of why they're invalid um, but these email addresses we're definitely just going to want to delete straight from your convertkit account um, these aren't real they're taking up space you're paying for them we can get rid of these ones so we'll come back to risky emails in a minute what we're going to do now with the invalid emails is we're going to click download results and we are going to just download all the invalid emails. You could, you, could, you could download the breakdowns, but we just want to download all invalid emails. So that's downloaded here. Then you're going to come to ConvertKit, import subscribers. Oh, no, you're not. You're going to create a new tag first. So come down here, create a tag. I'm going to call it invalid emails. Save that import subscribers and I'm going to import the list from ConvertKit onto this invalid uh, emails. Um, you just need to match up the email address here like this, import subscribers. It's going to take a few moments to do but if I click into here, invalid emails, they are probably already in here, total 25. So as you can see, some of these are clearly nonsense. Um, some may used to have been original, like may have once been proper emails, but no longer are. So this looks like someone's just mushed their hands on the keyboard. Um, so what we're going to do is these are all invalid emails. We are going to, so we're going to delete these emails, but do remember that you have got the download of the ones you deleted if you needed to get that information in future. So uh, I'm going to come up here, select all, bulk actions, delete, and then I'm going to click do it, confirm. 
those are being deleted. They have now gone, so now I can click edit and I can delete this tag. We don't need this tag anymore. 